we have been using retentate, permeate, permeation, penetration, uh, filtering, some concepts in chemistry, which must be fully defined right now, especially because we're going to be using them through all this section talking about membranes. The interesting part on membranes, as you can imagine, guys, is that you are always separating the feed or the inlet into at least two streams. So you got the main product and it gets separated into two products. So this is the inlet or feed and you got one product and one, let's say, byproduct. I don't like to use the main product or byproduct methodology because in some cases the permeate could be your main product or the retentate might be your main product. For instance, if we're talking about blood that is contaminated, let it be B for blood, clean blood, and C for the, contaminate, uh, the contaminated part, you have your membrane and then you get rid of the contamination part in the permeate and then you have your clean blood right here. Well, the retentate right here will be your main product. If we're talking about another example, let it be uh, water. Let's say we want to clean water. No, the reverse. We want, we have ocean water and we know that there are ions of gold present in ocean water. What you will see here is, of course, we are focusing our attention into gold. So we pass this through this membrane and let's say that the permeate is going to be the ions of gold. And the retentate, well, will be water and all the other leftover of seawater. In this case, the permit is, of course, our main focus, our main product, and the retentate will be our byproduct. So that's why I don't like too much to say that the permit is the main product and the retentate is the byproduct. I actually prefer to use this notation. The retentate is that part of the feed that does not pass through the membrane. So essentially, the retentate is always the leftover or let's say the original solution without the uh, permit. Now, what's the permit is that part of the feed that actually passes through the membrane or permeates. So the name implies the permeate is that material that actually permeated through. The optional sweep, you may find this. This is not common. I'm adding it just so if you see it uh, or see someone hear someone talking about sweep is a gas or liquid that is used to help remove the permit. So many times you will have this part. You need a material or a carrier gas maybe to remove the permeate. The component of interest in the membrane separation is known as the solute. So this is also important. You may have your permeate still, if you're talking about ions, maybe you have many ions, you may want to talk about the actual solute that you're working with. The solute can be retained on the membrane. It can be removed in the retentate or pass through the membrane in the permeate. So very important to consider retentate, permeate, sweep, or feed. 